So the goal today is to get metrics out of a Kubernetes cluster that are being capped by Prometheus into OpenTelemetry and then export it out into the CoreLogix platform. Um, you can see in front of me, I have a completely empty CoreLogix account. It's received no data in the past 15 minutes. It's actually not received data for a few hours, um, but there's no logs, no metrics, no tracing, no security data. Um, today, we're gonna focus on just the metrics, but CoreLogix integrates with logs, metrics, and traces uh, for OpenTelemetry. Um, so step one is to inspect our cluster and then just work out what we need to do in order to get this thing observable. So um, bring the terminal over here, and if we pull up pods, we can see that there's just a few pods here. So we've got Jenkins and a simple application running. These things are just um, generating logs, essentially. Uh, and then we have Prometheus installed already. So Prometheus is running, and it is capturing some metrics already, but this is just the default installation of Prometheus, nothing clever. In fact, we can get the pods from all namespaces and see that there's nothing else running in any of the namespaces. It's just the um, cube system re resources. So step one, really, just get um, OpenTelemetry installed. So the easy way to do that when you're running a local Kubernetes cluster is Helm. So uh, if I do a Helm repo list, Helm search repo, and then it is called OpenTelemetry. Cool, and we're interested in the OpenTelemetry, OpenTelemetry collector. So what I will do is I will just snag that. And it becomes Helm install my open telemetry, and then the name of the chart, which is this. The open telemetry chart needs to just set a mode. Uh, for now, I'm going to do deployment. The reason why I'm going to go into deployment is because this thing is going to be scraping from Prometheus. Um, logs are sometimes best done as a daemon set, um, and you have to decide on your mode based on your uh, use case. And often, it's a sen sensible uh, solution to run multiple instances of the. Uh, uh, open telemetry collector. So uh, we're just going to kick this off. What this should do is install a new instance of the open telemetry collector, nice and quick. So if we get the pods from that now, you can see there's a new open telemetry collector coming up. Hit that a few times. And move this up a little bit. And you can see that this uh, collector is now running. So step two for us is to uh, begin by getting Prometheus. And open telemetry talking with one another. So this can be done purely by the open telemetry configuration. I've actually put that configuration together quickly, um, just so you can see without having to watch me type. So um, if I bring this over here, you can see that um, we have um, some config and some presets. So we don't need this anymore. Now I look at that because we're not worrying about log collection too much. We'll leave the Kubernetes attribute. There's no harm in it. So we set the mode to deployment. Um, for anyone who's unfamiliar, this is uh, simply a way of configuring your Helm chart to behave differently. Um, so you're kind of configuring your deployment of uh, whatever uh, application you're installing, in this case, OpenTelemetry. Um, you can see that I've configured a receiver. So an OpenTelemetry receiver is something that gets data to the uh, OpenTelemetry collector. Um, and then I've got a Prometheus block in there. I have some configuration. And I'm basically saying every 10 seconds, Go and scrape my Prometheus server. That's the local internal address of my Prometheus server using the uh, op a job called Opatel Collector. And that'll happen every 10 seconds. So what we're basically doing is we're building a link from the open telemetry collector through to Prometheus. So um, the way we can uh, do this is uh, we can use a script that I've made called Upgrade Otel. Very, very simple, very, very straightforward. All it does is run an upgrade command, but it just saves me typing, which I really rather enjoy. Um, and we'll get that using the uh, copy. What I'm gonna do is just rename that quickly so it's easy to script. Values dash copy. And then upgrade Otel like that. So what that should do is um, upgrade to a new version of OpenTelemetry. So if we use K9s, it's much easier to view. You can see that the OpenTelemetry collector is now uh, restarting. And if we inspect the logs for this, we'll see that it started the scrape manager here. So that's an indication that it is indeed talking to Prometheus. And the absence of any errors um, tells us that indeed nothing is, is, is fundamentally broken, which is nice. So this is some confirmation we have that uh, OpenTelemetry and Prometheus are now working nicely together. But now we need to introduce the third part of the chain, which is CoreLogix. So, um, Fortunately, CoreLogix supports a completely open source um, integration into uh, OpenTelemetry. So you can pull your logs, metrics, and your traces into uh, your uh, into your CoreLogix account without any proprietary software running in your environment. So we're big, big fans of open source integrations, very open source friendly. 
So you can see this uh, previous configuration that we just deployed, that deploys the Prometheus config. This new configuration adds the um, adds some CoreLogic specific configuration to this. So this is a new exporter. Exporters are things that ship data out of the uh, OpenTelemetry collector and into whatever application or service that you're interested in. All you need to do is specify your endpoint, um, a, a private key, which I'll show you how to get in a moment, the application and subsystem name. These are useful because all of your data that goes to um, CoreLogix will be tagged with application name and subsystem name. So if you have something consistent across them for, all, for one application, that means you can query your metrics, logs and traces using the exact same values. So single point of uh, reference, single language across all of your data. Finally, a timeout just to make sure that um, the scraping doesn't uh, cause any errors or talking to CoreLogix doesn't cause any errors as well. <clears throat> Finally, a service pipeline. So this will um, add CoreLogix as an extension to the um, OpenTelemetry collector. So this is how we do this. And the, the missing piece is this private key. So I'm just gonna move my editor off the screen for a moment because it's wise to usually hide one's private keys. Um, then we go into our settings page. In fact, easier way of doing it, this start sending data here for a brand new account, just hit that. This will take you to your send your data page, which is packed with tutorials integrations for various different endpoints. Up here, you'll see a private key copy. So you're gonna copy that and you're gonna paste it into that configuration. So scan, I'll do that. Now we bring up the terminal once more, we'll kill this off. And um, this time I'm just gonna change the upgrade hotel script to use my new values file rather than values.copy. Um, so if we upgrade hotel now, we're, we're upgrading my open telemetry, but we're telling it to use values.yaml, which is our configuration that contains the CoreLogic specific config and not um, the values copy. So um, then we just run upgrade hotel. <coughs> So what this has done is uh, upgraded the OpenTelemetry collector. So now we should be able to go in and see that this is booting up. Um, and if I, oh, I think this might have been the older one. Yes. So if we go to this one here, we can see that the, the scrape manager has started and the discovery manager has started. Um, and it looks like the, the, the exporter started there for CoreLogix, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, so now what we need to do is validate that uh, everything has joined up nicely. So um, there's a few different ways we could do this. We could use data map in CoreLogix to, to visualize the data and see what we've got. Um, we could simply explore the data that we've got available to us in, in various different features in CoreLogix. But the, in the easiest and the most uh, straightforward, uh, in my experience, keep it simple and use some of the open source tooling that CoreLogix uh, integrates with natively. Uh, Grafana. So CoreLogix is actually a data source for this Grafana instance. Um, and what we can do is we can query for um, our metrics as they appear. So if we look for um, some values here, for example, we can start to pull out some of our metrics. So for example, CPU. So you can see here that all these metrics that previously weren't there because this thing had received no data, suddenly has some data. So we can, uh, we can query for this, for example, and it's just appeared now. And this is a total amount, so we want to turn this into a rate. So the way we can do that is like rate like this. We run the query, and it'll look very similar because it's very little, little data. Um, but super quick, super easy example for how you can um, tie together Prometheus, Open Telemetry Collector, and CoreLogix to export your metrics in like six minutes, seven minutes. Really, really easy, really quick and requires no installation of proprietary software whatsoever. Thank you.